Hey there, this is Lula Elve. Thank you so much for joining today's video and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Louis Vuitton Men's Fall Winter 2023 collection. This was just unveiled in their fashion show on January 19th. I will be honest with you, this was not my favorite collection when I first viewed it, but the more and more I look at the pieces and the looks from this collection, it is growing on me, I will admit. So I'm going to show you some of the bags that are going into production that we know of so far. I'm gonna give you the item IDs, with the anticipated price in euro. Of course, these prices are subject to change. The collection won't be coming out until probably around July or August, so we have about six months until we actually see these pieces in store. After we take a look at the pieces, I wanna talk with you about the most popular pieces from this collection that everyone's been talking about. Are they just overpriced plastic? Those were just handbags, none of the clothes, shoes, or other accessories. Those were uh, prices as well as item IDs and photos that I found from various sources on the purse forum as well as Instagram. They are generally reliable sources, however, that information is subject to change because this collection was just unveiled a week ago. Please keep that in mind. I will do an updated video when this collection is ready to hit the stores. The bags from this collection that I've heard the most talk about are the metallic gradient bags. I've heard people refer to these as the oil spill bags because they do have that degradation from a very shiny metallic at the top. It almost looks like a metallic patent leather. And then it degrades down into this like oil slick. 
color and then it goes into the traditional Louis Vuitton monogram canvas at the bottom of the bag. I wanted to chat with you about the material that's used on these bags. It is a very unique new material. I've never seen anything like this before. If you have, please comment below and let us know what pieces you've seen in a material like this because as far as I'm aware, this is completely new. I wanted to chat about this because I read a really interesting comment, actually two comments. One was in response uh, to the first comment about whether or not this is just overpriced plastic. The Louis Vuitton monogram canvas, as we all know, is canvas. It's not leather. Louis Vuitton never pretends or tries to pass it off as leather. It is a coated canvas. So the base is a man-made canvas fabric. It's printed with the Louis Vuitton monogram or the Damier Bean or the Damier Azure pattern. And then it is coated with a thin layer of PVC and that PVC makes the material extremely durable, easy to clean, water resistant, as well as heat resistant. This canvas was originally created and designed to be used on luggage. So the durability, um, you know, fire resistance, water resistance aspect was very important to the creation of this material. Is it less than leather? Is it worse than leather? No, I don't think so. It depends on end use, what your intention is for the product you're buying. I don't think canvas is any less than leather, even though it is a man-made material. Now, this gets into the nebula pieces. They are apparently not a coated canvas, but another type of plastic base instead of the canvas base coated with PVC. And this is really interesting. I'm going to refer to one comment on the purse forum. I'm not going to put this person's username in my video. I don't want to put anybody on blast, even though this was written in a public forum. And this person is, my understanding, professionally affiliated with Louis Vuitton. They wrote that these nebula pieces are not made from canvas. It's a new material. LV is the first in the world using it. I don't know how they created it or how it's a new material, but they said it's new and it's not canvas. And someone replied, I hate when they do this marketing BS. The canvas is PVC on a canvas base. This new material is just PVC on another plastic base. And then they say, this collection has so much freaking plastic. <laughs> and it just made me laugh and made me think about the value of these materials as well as the value of how these materials are manipulated and the design concept. Is this just overpriced plastic? Yes, I think both of these people are right. I think the first person who's affiliated with Louis Vuitton saying that this is a brand new material, it's not canvas, I think they are completely right. I, t At least to me, to my untrained, unprofessional eye, I think this does look like a really innovative new material. So even though, yes, this is canvas or uh, some sort of plastic material that's coated with PVC, it's not a high-end leather, it's a man-made material. I think the entire concept of this material, how it was creative, does look very technically advanced. It's not just a plain canvas with a PVC coating on it. So is this any less than leather just because it's a man-made material? No, I don't think so because I think the technical aspect and the manipulation that was done to this material to receive the end result is very advanced. So is this just overpriced plastic? In my opinion, no, I don't think so. I think this is a very innovative design and the artistic concept of these pieces are absolutely wonderful, something that I don't think we've ever seen before. However, I do think the second commenter also has a point. Is it marketing BS to an extent? Yes, it is, but isn't that the job of any commercial business? 
Louis Vuitton is a commercial luxury brand. So yes, I expect them to fully promote and market these uh, materials, their collections, all of their products the best way they see fit to achieve sales. It is their end goal to sell products, to make money, to keep making more products. That's the goal of any business. So is it marketing BS? Yes, it is. Is it just a coated canvas or a coated plastic? Yes, it is. But I also think the design is worth a lot of money as well. I would love to hear your opinion on this, so please do comment below. That's all I have for today, just a really quick video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.